Welcome everyone, Mike Bowers here. Today's video, we're at the Hurtado Barbecue Fort Worth location because they serve breakfast and I love a good breakfast. So join me and let's get barbecue. The Fort Worth location is at 8th and Rosedale, just south of downtown and not too far from Panther City Barbecue. So the Fort Worth location of Hurtado Barbecue is actually the old Derek Allen's building. I did a video of them back in 2020 at the peak of the pandemic. Hate to see that they didn't last. He was a good guy. Let's go inside. So not much has changed since the Derek Allen days. Almost looks like the exact same building. Well, cause it is, but you know, exact same setup. I say stupid things sometimes. It still has the Derek Allen sticker here. Of course, the new tenant, Hurtado Barbecue. Here's the breakfast menu. I got the loaded breakfast taco and the breakfast biscuit. Cannot wait. Y'all check this out. We got the loaded brisket taco and the star of the show. The brisket egg and cheese biscuit. Holy cow, I cannot wait to dig in. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'm going on tons of barbecue road trips this summer. we would really love to take you along with me. All right, y'all. <laughs> this looks so daggum good. Nice biscuit. I mean, look at this. Check all that brisket egg, the melted cheese, nice bun. <laughs> this is bigger than a burger, man. This is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. You have the nice flaky biscuit, the brisket. Look at this brisket. Nice pepper cheese cuts through the, the pepperness a little bit. Perfect combo. And they're not using bad brisket. This brisket is fantastic on its own. Oh my gosh, this is so good. In fact, I'm gonna deconstruct this a little bit and eat some of this brisket. This brisket's so delicious by itself. A little bit of fat, pepper. This location is no different than Arlington. Phenomenal food. All right, I'm going for another bite. Just to let you know how much brisket was on there. I took those two slices off. Still plenty of brisket. This is a 45 minute drive from my house. If it was in 15 minutes, I would hear every day. This is phenomenal. Now give me a little bit of green sauce for the taco. I want to try it on the, on the biscuit too. The sauce is very earthy. It wasn't really good on the biscuit, but I know it's going to be phenomenal on the taco. Let's go ahead and dig into that. But check that out. It's loaded. It's got brisket. It's got cheese. It's got um, tater tot casserole. Let's dig in. The brisket's delicious. The tater tot casserole is the star of the show with this one. Really good. I'm going to try a little bit of that sauce. I will say the tortilla is fantastic as well. If you ever had Carmelo tortillas or something that you make at home, it's what it tastes like. All right, a little bit of green sauce there. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of the sauce. It's um, got a little kick, very earthy tones to it. I thought it'd be good on the taco. I like it by itself. I may bring some of my own sauce next time, but nothing is Hurtado. It may just be my flavor profile. Going back to the biscuit. This is unbelievable. One thing would be really good on this 
why I think it's fantastic on its own. Maybe some Mike's Hot Honey or a um, even a honey butter. This is one of the best bites of barbecue I've ever had. All right, so this location is just south of downtown Fort Worth in the medical district. It's a good thing, because after this, I may need the cardiologist. So, kinda fell apart on me. It's the last bite, kinda sad about that. Well, I know it'd be over the top. I could do another one. Thankfully, I got the taco. Best breakfast I've had in a long time. Taco's good, but this is all about that biscuit. I mean, this is a great deal, too. At the time of filming, the biscuit's $7.50, the taco's $5.50. But drink and a tip, they came out to be about $20. I know it's kind of expensive for a, um, a breakfast, but I got a lot of food. We got a lot of quality in this, in this meal. It's so daggum worth it. I'm tapping out. <laughs> no way I could have done a second um, brisket biscuit. This was phenomenal. Totally destroyed the biscuit. Taco got a little bit left, but I, I can't eat any more. <laughs> I am so full. I'm so glad that I came out here because this is this is definitely, definitely worth it. If you love Hurtado, or you love barbecue, you love brisket, you want to make your way out to Fort Worth because this is totally worth it for breakfast. You could have breakfast here to go just up the road and check out Panther City or Smokeaholics Barbecue. It'd be a nice little Saturday morning for you. You get a little bit of breakfast before you get in line to one of those joints. Fort Worth it is my favorite barbecue town. So many great places here, now including Hurtado, in addition to Danes, Panther City, Goldie's on the south side in Kennedale. Fort Worth is an amazing barbecue destination for your next barbecue road trip definitely have to come out here. They still have a smoker from the Derek Allen days. Something that Derek built in his backyard. Cool little concept. Absolutely amazing breakfast. That that brisket biscuit was phenomenal. I, I'm not sure if they serve that all day, but I do know they serve the tacos all day, which is, which is pretty darn cool to get breakfast tacos anytime that they're open. But I'm telling you, the key is is to plan your barbecue road trip to Fort Worth and begin it here at Hurtado. You can be at Hurtado for breakfast, and then go get in line at Panther City, Danes, wherever you want to go. So many options here in Fort Worth. It, it truly is a barbecue mecca. All right, I thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't already, give this video a big like. And if you um, haven't already, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. Until the next video, we are officially sold out. Mm -hmm.